Hello everyone, this is K1 from MBT. Here we're going to have a series of CFD simulations on ECM lithium ion battery. In the first part, we're going to have a brief introduction on the principles of how a lithium ion battery works. So we start with the definition of electricity, which is the flow of electrons from anode to cathode. As you may already know, a battery has two terminals. The negative one is called anode, and the positive one is called cathode. So by definition, the electrons go from negative terminal to the positive terminal. In a lithium-ion battery, the anode is composed of lithium and graphite. The lithium is layered in between of graphite structure, and this is called intercalation. On the other hand, the cathode is made of metal oxides. The process of charging and discharge is done by the movement of lithium ions between anode and cathode, which is illustrated in the next slide. As you can see, in the discharge process, the lithium atom is willing to release its electron and become a lithium ion with positive charge. The released electron will pass through the device, which could be your cell phone for example, and it is received by the cathode terminal. So as long as the lithium atoms release more electrons, the cathode terminal gets more negative. In order to balance the charge, we put a separator between the anode and cathode collectors which only the lithium ions can pass through and attach to the cathode. In this way, the negative charge of electrons on the cathode will be neutralized by the positive charge of lithium ions. In the charging process, the whole reaction is reversed. Here you can see the full reaction of charging and discharge of a lithium ion battery. For better understanding, the full equation could be divided into first, the anode half reaction, which defines the release of electrons and having lithium ions, and second, the cathode half reaction that defines the formation of lithium cobalt oxides, as an example of cathode made of cobalt metal. So now you have a good understanding of how lithium ion batteries work, and hope you enjoyed this short introduction. In the next part, we're going to start the simulation of an ECM lithium ion battery. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and see you in the next session.